Hi. Today we discuss an important uh, molecule. It is glycosoaminoglycan. Glycosoaminoglycan. Also called as mucopolysaccharides. Mucopolysaccharides. It could be a part of your short note. Short note or most importantly it comes in multiple choice questions for pre-PG and if you are preparing for another entrances also so it is most important glycosaminoglycans also called as mucopolysaccharides a part of short note a part of multiple choice question for uh, postgraduates it can be a multiple a short note of 10 marks or and for a U, UG student it could be a short note of 4 marks okay so coming to glycosaminoglycans a very short topic here we'll just discuss the composition of glycosaminoglycans so that it is easy for you to remember first important thing is that it consists of an amino sugar first that it has one amino sugar second that it has a uronic acid these things we have to keep in mind and then there is a bond between Uro amino acid, amino sugar and a uronic acid. So there is one bond between an amino sugar and a uronic acid and this forms a unit. So this is one unit and there is a bond between one unit and the other unit. So there are two bonds actually in the molecule. One bond is between amino sugar and uronic acid. This forms one unit. The other bond is between one unit and the other unit and similarly there are repeating units that have the other type of bond okay so i want to make clear that there is one bond between amino sugar and uronic acid there is one bond between these unit which are repeated together to form glycosoaminoglycans so the important thing is that there is one amino sugar there is one uronic acid now coming to what are the glycosoaminoglycans which are present and which are the uronic acid sugar and the amino sugar so we make a table first of amino sugar over here that is we make it as AS the second table is of uronic acid and the third is the bond between the two okay the third is the bond between the amino sugar and the uronic acid coming to the first most important that is hyaluronic acid so this is the most important that is hyaluronic acid and it contains see it contains n acetyl n acetyl d glucosamine n acetyl d glucosamine so the important thing is that it is amino sugars it contains an amine a sugar it contains a glucose okay so n acetyl d glucosamine even if you forget everything, you have to remember that it contains glucosamine. The uronic acid over here is D-glucouronic acid. D-glucouronic acid. So it is easy to remember glucosamine, glucouronic acid. The bond between amino sugar and uronic acid is beta 1, beta 1, 3. So the bond between the two is beta 1, 3. Okay. Now coming to the other. Hyaluronic acid is done. The other one is chondrotin, chondrotin sulfate. Chondrotin sulfate. Now chondrotin sulfate we have two. It is chondrotin 4 sulfate, chondrotin 6 sulfate. Okay. So we discuss it together. Either it is chondrotin 4 sulfate, either it is chondrotin 6 sulfate. Okay. So chondrotin 4 sulfate. N acetyl D galactosamine 4 sulfate. So it is N acetyl D galactosamine. Galactosamine. Okay. So amino sugar, we require an amine, but here it is galactose. Okay. N acetyl D galactosamine. Because it is a sulfate, we have a sulfate. Okay. If it is a 4 chondrotin sulfate, Chondrotin 4 sulfate, we will have a N acetyl D galactosamine 4 sulfate, and if it is 6, we will have a N acetyl D galactosamine 6 sulfate. The acid over here is again D glucouronic acid. 
D-glucuronic acid. The bond is again beta one three. Okay. So the bond is again beta one three. Conductor four sulfate six sulfate done. There is galactose, not glucose, but the acid remains same. Glucuronic acid. The bond remains same. Now coming to the next one, that is dermatin sulfate. Dermatin sulfate. Dermatin sulfate. Okay. So the next one is dermatin sulfate. Now dermatin sulfate is N-acetyl D-galactosamine six sulfate. N-acetyl D-galactosamine. Four sulfate, okay. Sulfate. So N acetyl D galactose amine galactose amine four sulfate. So the thing to remember is we have glucose only in hyaluronic, chondroitin in four and six sulfate. We have galactose in dermatin also. We have galactose. The acid over here is L idu uronic acid. So basically, if you have an MCQ, the MCQ is in the pre-PG or in whatever entrance you are giving, the MCQ is the L-idouronic acid is present in dermatin sulfate. Okay, the idouronic acid is present in dermatin sulfate. The bond remaining the same, that is beta one three. The bond remaining the same, that is beta one three. Now coming to heparin sulfate, heparin or heparin sulfate. So heparin or heparin sulfate we have D glucosamine. So D glucosamine. So D glucosamine. We started the H hyaluronic acid had glucose. The H heparin and the heparin sulfate again had glucose. So glucosamine. Now this glucosamine could be sulfated. It could be acetylated. Okay, it is. Their problem. If they want sulfation, it will be having sulfation. It will be having acetylation. They can have acetylation. The acid remaining, D glucuronic acid, and the bond here is the bond here is alpha one four, alpha one four, and sorry with the dermatin sulfate, it is alpha one three. Okay, not beta. So dermatin sulfate is alpha one three. Heparin heparin sulfate is alpha one four. Now we have discussed the bond between the two units, but now we want the bond between the repeating units. So bond between the repeating units will be beta one four over here. Similarly, beta one four over here. The vitamin sulfate will have alpha one four, and again this will have alpha one four. So repeating units will have alpha one four, beta one four. But the bond between the two sugar, uh, sugar and the uronic acid is one three, one three, one three, and it has alpha one four for the last one. Okay, so this is the important part. The MCQ is idu, idu uronic acid is present in dermatin sulfate. H has always glucose in hyaluronic acid in heparin and heparin sulfate. Generally, the bond is asked between amino sugar and uronic acid, so it is one three, one three for. Hyaluronic and chondroitin for dermatin and heparin. Dermatin and heparin it becomes alpha. For dermatin it is alpha one three. For heparin it is alpha one four. Now we have one more. Uh, this remaining mucopolysaccharide which is called as keratin sulfate. Now why are we discussing this in the end? Because it is again an exception. Like dermatin sulfate and L idouronic acid. This is again an exception because it can contain D galactosamine. See only H, the one which starts with H has glucose. The only H part has glucose. Okay, so rest all have galactose. D galactosamine and N acetyl D glucosamine. N acetyl glucosamine six glucosamine six sulfate. Okay, so why is it an exception? Because it has no uronic acid so it has no uronic acid so this keratin sulfate has no uronic acid it has galactose plus glucosamine sulfate so this is all for glycosaminoglycan first the important thing is to remember the composition hyaluronic acid has glucosamine glucuronic acid chondroitin has galactosamine glucuronic acid dermatin has Galactosamine, idouronic acid, and heparin has glucosamine, glucuronic acid. The exception, the keratin sulfate has no uronic acid. It has D galactosamine, 
and as an acetyl glucosamine 6 sulfate okay so that's all for glycosaminoglycans thank you so much